Hey everybody, Aaron here, and today is vlog number three. Yeah, romance. I wanted to talk about romance for a while, actually. Um, in one of these things, you know, what's funny is, is before I did the whole idea of doing these, you know, weekly now apparently because I actually see that you guys really like these. Um, before I started doing these weekly vlogs, I wanted to have like uh, every month I wanted to have a, a thing where I talked about a certain topic in anime. And, you know, after the kind of, I don't want to say success, because, I mean, you know, maybe not to you guys, but 50 views on one video isn't a huge success, but for me, that's pretty big. I mean, one of my videos has 153, and I, I don't actually, 135, excuse me, and I've not seen that on any of my other videos, but that's, I think that's because it's related to a video game, which is, you know, that's cool, but I want, you know, I want my highest views not to come from that, because that's not still the sole focus of my channel, it's more so, you know, anything about anime. And what I find funny though is, um, yeah, I started writing down on a little notepad ideas of future topics. So I already have uh, several ideas. I'm going to talk about probably next one. I'm going to probably talk about slice of life anime. Are they boring? Uh, I'm going to talk about should anime actually let light novels finish, or should they kind of create their own endings? And you know, I have a whole bunch of a whole bunch of these. I have like maybe 20 already that I'm planned out that I want to do, and um. You know, guys, feel free in the comments below. Write down uh, ideas you might want me to discuss. If you know, you don't you don't have to per se. I'm not saying you guys do, but if you guys want me to talk about a specific subject that you feel you you kind of can't get your own voice across and you want me to do it, I I feel honored to actually take that. But anyway, let's let's go talk about anime, uh, romance and anime. So, ironically, you know, romance anime is still, I think, a topic that people either love or hate. It's not a topic that is, I think, sought after only by certain people is the romance genre sought after. And what I mean by that is because a lot of times I think romance stories in general to people are one of two things. They're either very unrealistic or just very stupid. And, you know, there are, there's a big difference between that because, I mean, very stupid is, the time, is like Western rom-coms. I like Western rom-coms, uh, in honest truth, but a lot of them are very stupid. You know, I always tell people... You know, if you don't like that that subgenre of romance stories, then they're not going to be funny to you. Uh, equally, you know, it's going to piss you off because, yeah, you know, I, I think romance in general is kind of fantasized. It's something that we, as people who watch it, you know, and, and read it, a, you know, any form of the medium of, of romance, find that it's actually something that's so unrealistic, it's so not even close to reality, that it tends to turn us off. For example, um, this is a Western item, but The Notebook, for example, that's Nicholas Sparks who wrote that book. Um, the Notebook is a very, very unrealistic kind of concept of romance. It's, it's visually, if you watch the movie, it, it's, you know, supposed to be this nice, nice love story of so much drama and so much love and so much, you know, heated moments and such like that. But what you actually end up getting is, I think, a very unrealistic concept of what romance is. And, but there are people who love that type of thing because they also feel like that's the perfect romance story. And in many ways, I think that's what turns people, other people off because they think, oh, you know, look at this romance story now. It's creating another false concept of, of what romance is supposed to be. And, in, you know, ironically, uh, a Japanese anime does something very similar in that it also kind of creates this unrealistic concept of romance. You know, it's unavoidable, but I'll tell you right now, and I, I think it's something like my cliche video that I talked about the, uh, the last video. It's something that's kind of unavoidable. It's something that is going to happen because no matter what, you know, our main goal, and it has to be it's said, is to be entertained by what we watch or entertained by what we read. We read and watch things not to um, get immersed in more reality, but get away from reality. You know, we don't want to have everything be too realistic you don't want to have a, a character who's always dealing with money issues or a character is dealing with uh, love loss all the time because it would remind you too much of your own personal life or it would remind you of someone around you's personal life and i mean i know i i, I hate i l literally hate i don't care i would always say it i hate um reality tv shows for this reason because i'm not into watching other people's lives and i don't think anyone's life per se should be more interesting than another person but i understand the same token why someone's gonna watch. I'm not ignorant to say that, yeah, as much as I hate them, I also understand why they have such a large audience. You know, people want 
that escapism. They want to see someone else's life or see something else. And romance is ideally, I think, what people should strive for in, in anime. I think that's if you leave that in your head, if you leave the, the fact that this is not realistic, this is not meant to be realistic, even if there are realistic concepts, in the end game, it's not going to be realistic. It's going to be a fantasized uh, romance story. Let's take, um, let's take for example, uh, Shuffle. Shuffle is a harem anime, but it, its main premise besides slice of life and comedy is romance. It's, it's meant to have romantic elements, and it, it does have a boyfriend-girlfriend concept at the, toward the end. But, you know, one thing about that is that it's the kind of good example I can, I can give right now off the top of my head of a romance story that's so far from the... Um, the realism concept of romance, you know, they, they don't deal with the personal issues, they deal with these fake romantic triangles and rectangles that show up because one character likes the other character, etc, etc. And that is a show that you're willing to watch for the romance element because it's not realistic. It's not, you don't, you don't want to see, and I think this is the best example, you don't want to see a couple break up or have issues or have fights because maybe that might be dealing with, it might hit too hard, uh, too close to home for you. That you're dealing with that stuff in your personal life. Uh, another one, for example, Clanet. Clanet is something I talk about all the time, and you know I always tell people though that it is very, very emotional. It's something that you watch it and you get emotionally invested in. You feel like, oh wow, this is um, this is really close. You know, close to something that actually is making me tear up. And you know, I, I've listen. Trust me, I don't care who you are. I've I've talked to most people that have watched Clanet, and I think. 95% have at least cried, and maybe the last 5% has at least felt like they want to cry. You know, they, they might not shed that tear because they're not that quick to get emotional, but they get close. And that's what that, that anime does so well, is it makes you get close to that emotional spark. And that's a romance story with a very high realistic concept because it is a slice of life in many ways. And, you know, with the uh, characters dealing with what they do in After Story, for example, they, they, it shows a realistic romance story. So what am I getting at? You know, I, I'm talking about romance and I'm talking about, you know, the pros and cons of it. But, you know, in my opinion, it's something that is one of the best genres of anime. And, what, and this is the reason, you know, romance can be done so many different ways, guys. It can be done so many, so many different ways. It could be done in comedy ways. It could be done in serious ways. It could be done in fin and fanatical ways where, you know, characters, multiple characters like the character, you know, they're dealing with all these other various issues. It could be very fantasy based. There are a million to one ways to do romance in anime. It's been, and a lot of them have been done before, you know, good and bad. But the end result is something that leaves the viewer entertained because you, you strive for either seeing one character get with another, you know, you strive to see uh, someone fall in love with the main character, etc, etc, you know, whether boy or guy, or boy or girl. You want to see that. You want to see them get together at the end. And, you know, I, I know people hate harem animes, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, when I say people, I'm not saying the whole general audience, but I'm saying that I know as a, as a whole, a lot of people like, uh, dislike harem animes. But, you know, if you go into it realizing that it's kind of a fun concept once in a while, it's, it's romance sometimes done right. Like, for example, Moggy SS, which is one of my first reviews on this channel. If it's done in a way that's, that's um, clever, you could have a very good romance story out of it. You could have something where our main character gets emotionally charged by one of these characters or one of these girls, excuse me. Or even vice versa, if you have a, a romance story that's set around a boy, like uh, Pre-Tier, for example, if anyone remembers that old, old anime. Or a Fruit Basket. And by the way, yeah, I've seen those anime. You know, I, I, again, I like the romance genre. I like where it goes and I don't care if the main character is a boy or girl because I'm used to even reading in, you know, in regular novels and regular uh, media. I actually do like stories regardless of who the main character is. As long as the main character is interesting enough to kind of hold their weight as a, as a character, I don't mind. You know, I don't mind if it's a girl or a guy. But um, Pre-Tier and Fruit Basket are, you know, the kind of the reverse harem in, in the sense that you have the girl getting uh, with all different guys or, or possibly getting with one of the guys. But those are stories that are older and, and they're done very well. They're done in ways that, you know, you can kind of relate to the romance elements, but at the same time, feel like it's not too close to reality and that's what I think romance is supposed to do it's supposed to make it where it's fantasy based you don't want to have that feeling of oh wow this is exactly like my love life 
for a second, for a second, I know, I know, uh, several of you are gonna go, oh well, I, I would, I would enjoy a realistic romance story. Think of this, okay? If you haven't had a boyfriend and girlfriend, you know, imagine now having a boyfriend and girlfriend. Imagine your head right now. I want you to actually focus on this. Now imagine that you, know, you guys are really close, that you're in the cusp of the new boyfriend girlfriend re uh, relationship. It's the best part of the, the moment. It's the best kind of time where. You know, you're really in love with each other, you really are happy, etc, etc. Now, imagine as time goes by that you start noticing each other's flaws, which is usually the first issue that happens in boyfriend-girlfriend romances. You have the kind of flaws that show up, the pop-up here there, that you might get annoyed at. And it might cause fights, you know, later on, it might cause this. Now, you know, as time goes by, you know, either you get better or stronger or you get worse, where now these fights are, instead of being like two-minute fights, are now 20-minute fights to an hour fight. You know, one of you's crying by the end, one of you's yelling at one another. And in the end, you know, it, it's, a, it's a romance that goes either very south or is something that's always something you have to deal with, all these kind of fights constantly. Now, imagine that being in an anime. Would you want to watch that? No, no, you would not. I don't care who you are. I don't want to watch an anime that hits close to home in romance stories because that would be stupid. You know, I, I've talked to a lot of people with romance issues and honest to God, Imagine watching that now. Imagine watching uh, 12 episodes or 24 episodes of constant, you know, yelling, screaming, fighting, occasional moments of joy and bliss, then right back to fighting. Or, you know, those those kind of on edge, you know, boring moments, because, you know, every romance has boring moments. Does It's not always a um, fantastic roller coaster. It's, it's like a roller coaster, actually, Master, is that sometimes you hit the low moments, and then sometimes you go really high. You hit the plateau effect, and then you hit back low, high again, you know, stay at the... It, it's, it's too much to actually convey that successfully as an actual anime. I don't think you want to see, if you think about it, an actual romance story. I mean, they've been done before. Trust me, I've seen anime where, and I can't think of off the, off the top of my head, I've seen a few that are very realistic. And I'll be honest with you, they are horrible. Because they're just either very boring or almost comically commonly like wow what the, what am i watching why am i watching real just this, this over realistic concept romance and anime you know i want to wrap this up because I'm, I'm almost close to the 15 minute mark romance and anime is something that i think will always be one of the biggest genres of anime and even if you don't realize it a lot of stuff that you watch even if it's comedy based if you watch only harems for example if you watch a lot of shonen concept romance is somewhere in there no matter what there's always romance in everything but the thing of the day is that romance is can be done in ways that you know is uplifting. It's meant to, and I think that's what it's meant to be going for, is the feelings of joy, humorous bliss. You know, you have the occasional kind of trifles that characters will deal with. You know, the, the occasional fighting and such like that. But it's always and for and foremost entertaining to watch. Just like the fan, the fanatical and fantasy based concepts of the Western culture, romance has to stay in that realm of fake. It has to be done in a way that people at the end of the day leave entertained and not feeling like, oh wow, this is, my reality sucks because this is very close to it. They don't want that. You know, I, last time I checked, you know, you don't want to go to a movie theater, watch someone's uh, life essentially shown on TV or, or on the big screen in, in a fantasy based and then it, you, you, you leave the studio going, wow, that reminds me of myself. You don't want that. You know, that's the, that's the end result. You don't want that in anime, you don't want that in, in Western films, etc. Romance needs to be done in the way that I think people don't understand. It's always going to be very cliche. You're always going to have the childhood friend concepts, the um, the long lost lovers, the all of a sudden first love at first sight. You're going to have those concepts embedded into everything that is anime. But in the end, the actual end result is that they're needed. And even then, you know, again, it's it's going back to my cliche concept, which, you know, it's, it's funny that a few of these things went back to those, is that you need that cliche, it's just you need to do it in a certain way to make romance into something that I think could be wonderful. You could have it where it's still close to realistic, but at the same time beautiful and, you know, entertaining. Because I'm, I'm being honest with you, Clan Ed, at, at times, you know, gets sad if you watch Clan Ed, but the end result is that I left that feeling joy and feeling bliss because of the realism concept behind it also just the way it was done and that's what romance is aimed for I, I think romance can do that anyways guys i hope you like this that's in my video um 
as always, I'm still doing these vlog ideas. I have a whole bunch of them, but I could use your help and get some more if you feel like it. If you're not, no big deal. Watching, it's, you, you don't have, listen guys, I know a lot of you that watch my videos don't comment. I am not, not pressuring any of you to comment. If you don't feel comfortable commenting on someone else's video, by all means, just watch the video if you want. And that's, that, that joys, that makes me feel like at least someone's appreciating if you don't write down in, in the comments below, oh, I, you know, I liked it or disliked it. That's fine. Anyways, guys, I hope um, to see you guys next time uh, for this whole week. Have a great week. You know, I, I wish you the best of luck. I, I truly do. I hope that your week goes very well in both love and regular stuff in general. And yeah, that's it. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.